What's going on everyone? So today is a pretty exciting day because I picked up a new anti-gravity lithium battery that I'm going to be using as my starter battery in my truck. However, before I install, I want to see how much capacity it actually has. Now this battery is rated at 60 amp hours. However, it does have an emergency jump start built in. Uh, so basically if you are, you know, driving somewhere and you get out of your, your vehicle and you accidentally leave your lights on, the battery of course will go dead after an extended period of time. Uh, at which point if you come back to your vehicle, you won't be able to start it. However, because anti-gravity has a cool little feature built in, I'll be able to uh, click a button basically and the battery saves some reserve power uh, in case something like that happens. Now the battery does have a BMS, which is a battery management system, and so that way it takes care of uh, power going in and out of the battery to make sure that it's not being too overcharged or too discharged. Uh, however, we're gonna basically run it until that kicks in, uh, but I don't know how much actual amp hour uh, capacity we're gonna have, so let's uh, find out. Now to make sure that we're getting the most power out of this battery, I did have it hooked up to a SeaTech lithium battery charger to make sure that our uh, battery, of course, was starting at 100% state of charge. Now this setup is pretty simple. I've got my anti-gravity battery. This is an H7 uh, size, and again, it has 60 amp hours. I've got my power meter here, so this will show us the voltages as well as uh, power going out of the battery. We have a phone set up here for a stopwatch, and then, uh, of course, we've got our plugs and everything that we're going to use to be able to plug in the light bar. Now this light bar draws about 8 to 12 amps depending on voltage. Um, so of course once it's plugged in we'll be able to check the meter here and see exactly how much power it's pulling out. So now that the test is underway I wanted to talk about some of the special features on this battery that sets it apart from other lithium batteries that are available. First off is the weight. The very first thing you notice when you pick it up and it's ridiculously lightweight compared to uh, your standard wet or AGM battery. A lot of us bring way too much stuff with us when we go out so having a lighter battery uh, really kind of helps free up some of the load capacity for other gear. Now, obviously, 20 or 30 pounds isn't a huge difference, um, but to me, that's pretty big. I mean, that's, you know, a kid in the back seat or a couple gallons of gas. Um, but again, just anywhere that you can make the vehicle lighter is, you know, a really good thing. Now, the next cool thing about the anti-gravity lithium battery is the BMS that I had mentioned earlier. Now, the BMS protects the battery from overcharging or over-discharging and helps to provide longer battery life and ensure reliable starting. Now that a lot of us are driving around with lots of LEDs, um, other vehicle accessories and truck fridges, it's really important to try to monitor your battery and make sure that you're not discharging it too much. But if you do accidentally discharge your battery a little bit too much, you're okay and you are not gonna be stranded. Basically, the BMS is monitoring the voltage of your battery, and if it sees that it's going getting a little bit too low, it will shut down the battery and it goes into sort of a standby mode. Now, once you get back to your car or you realize that it, it's gone dead, of course, um, you can either press a button on top of the battery or click the included key fob, and when you do that, it will turn the battery back on and it will have a little bit of reserve power to make sure that you can start your vehicle. Now, of course, it's important if you are out camping or something and for some reason you do hit this limit, um, when you turn your truck uh, back on you hit the little key fob button make sure you start your truck and run it for a while and then figure out of course why you were drawing too much power um, but you don't want to just keep you know pressing the emergency back up and uh, depleting that power another benefit of the bms is battery life which is estimated to be upwards of eight to ten years um, of course that depends on usage of the battery and uh, conditions of course that it's being used in um, but that's still two to three times longer than your normal conventional lead acid battery now, because of the characteristics of lithium ion batteries, the battery will also experience a very low self discharge rate. Now, assuming you don't have a lot of parasitic draw on your battery, which would be like uh, dash cams, uh, LED stuff that turns on, computers, the, the newer trucks are, are notorious for this because there's a lot of stuff just going on uh, in the truck, even if you shut it off and you have no key in there. Um, so that's going to be parasitic draw. But assuming you don't have a lot of that, um, you can have a battery that's pretty much ready to go for, for months at a time without needing to be hooked up to a battery tender. Now, the other cool thing about the anti-gravity uh, battery is the cranking amps. Um, your, your truck will feel like it's starting up a lot quicker and it, it might actually be doing so. Um, the anti-gravity lithium battery provides uh, close to or more than twice uh, the cranking amps uh, that your normal starter battery would would have so you're not going to have as low of a voltage drop when you do start the truck And so uh, it, it's really nice to have and like I said the, the truck will start right up So this test is finally finished up and the battery BMS has cut in uh, And it looks like we made it to 11.75 volts and we were able to draw out 55.238 amp hours Now obviously that's going to vary a little bit depending on your power draw 
Um, if you're pulling out more power, of course, it might cut in a little bit quicker, uh, but still pretty impressive, 55 amp hours out of a 60 amp hour battery. Um, that's cool. And there should still be a little bit uh, left over in the reserve here. So we're gonna hit the button on the top and if the battery kicks on, then that means it was working. Um, of course, I haven't tried this in my truck yet. However, it does save some power so that way we'd still be able to jumpstart ourselves uh, and get going and not be stranded. And of course, I'm gonna be putting this battery into my truck pretty soon and running a couple other tests. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, and of course, if you want more information on anti-gravity batteries, check out the links below and we'll see you in the next video. Now the restart button built into the battery means that you have that little bit of reserve power so that way um, you don't have to worry about leaving your lights on and killing your battery. Obviously you don't want to do it every day, um, but when those kind of incidents do happen, you've got this emergency backup button here to be able to press. And so you can see here, I've got the power meter. Um, we have no power here, although it is hooked up to the battery. Uh, the BMS has kicked in now. So the idea is that we hit this and there should be some reserve power left over to make sure you can start your vehicle. And once you start your vehicle, of course, course it starts charging the battery and you should be able to drive away um, so let's go ahead and press this button and see if we get power on our meter and boom wow that was super instantaneous as soon as we click it uh, you can see on here we've got 12 uh, just over 12 volts and uh, so that means we should be able to start up our truck and drive away without needing to get out jumper cables or have to call anybody um, and of course, they've got some wireless key fobs as well for this. So you don't even need to press the button on the battery. You just press your key fob. Uh, so again, a super cool, uh, you know, thing built in here. And that definitely sets uh, anti-gravity batteries apart from some of the other lithium battery options.